Roast Committee worked very hard to find a leader in the community, a gifted writer, an intellectual powerhouse, a modern woman, a humanitarian. We couldn't find one, so we came up with Linda Chris Honey. <laughs> Linda let me into the building. She goes, I remember, tomorrow night, tomorrow night, make it short and dirty. <laughs> I said, what are you talking about Pat Cunningham's sex life for? I had to <laughs> but she really meant it. Keep it short, keep it mean, keep it dirty, and get the hell off the stage, right? She's going to write a new dictionary. And this dictionary, instead of having the words alphabetical, she's going to put them in there in the order of importance. <laughs> I remember the day I opened the door and I peeked in and I heard somebody saying, so Linda, you would say that none of the cavemen went to heaven? Ed uh, has done a lot in the church, too. <laughs> there are many things we could say about Linda, that she's modest, bright, kind, considerate, polite. They'd be lies, but you could say those things. No, really, in my book, uh, Linda is a great lady. Of course, my book is fiction. We used to have a sign in the newsroom that said, smile, and when Linda became executive editor, the sign was changed to smile anyway. <laughs> uh, another thing worldwide is the notion that Linda and I are husband and wife, which arises, of course, from our having the same last name. Uh, that one's been going around Rockford for almost as long as Linda's been here. And I don't know which one of us should be more offended. <laughs> uh, the truth, of course, is that Linda is married to Ed Cunningham, a wonderful guy, which makes the whole thing inexplicable. <laughs> Every year on their wedding anniversary, I send Ed a sympathy card. I believe that all of us are on a journey through this life, and we all are going somewhere. During this time, we'll meet a lot of people and all different kinds of people. Finding a real friend is always a gift from God. So I believe only God can give you real friends. So I thank God for the blessing and giving me a real friend, and her name is Linda Gress Cunningham. What can you say? What can you say about Mike Dunn? Nothing. <laughs> because he never stops talking long enough for you to get a word in edge. You can't say he always has the final word, because he never gets to the final word. 31 years of happy, blissful marriage, Ed. What a man. <laughs> Henrietta, there's four of uh, men up here tonight, because for 17 years she's been kicking the crap out of men in this community, so we thought we had to come up here and mass to take this thing out. <laughs> And it took how many of you to do it? That's hopefully many of you are... <laughs> See? See, I my case. To the Register Star Sports Department. For six frickin' months, I had to pick up that newspaper every frickin' morning and see what the Cubs were doing 100 years ago. So to all you Cubs fans and the sports department, the Register Star, happy anniversary. <laughs> Can you just picture this? What do you mean they didn't like today's at a time? <laughs> Image is scary, isn't it? <laughs> so now some of you know that you are now members of the Naked Ladies at the Y Club. <laughs> She was in the middle, I'm not making this up, she was in the middle of a, of a very important meeting. Her phone rings, it goes, oh my God, I gotta take this. It's Julio? What was the guy's name? It was, it was her hairdresser. She goes, okay, let's see, color, yeah, two weeks from now, yeah, the perm, okay then, yeah, okay. Uh, you just da, told them I color my hair. <laughs> in, fr in front of the new boss, you know, <clears throat> amazing. And, um, you know, give her a glass of wine and a cigarette, and you're bound to learn something that you didn't want to know. Or maybe you were confirmed something that you really did want to know. Ed, stand up. This is my husband. Yay! Sit down. I'm not done yet. 
<laughs> Fritz. <coughs> Gad boss, it's really been great since you retired. <laughs> it is. I don't get any phone calls now from people saying, hey, I talked to Fritz last night and he said I ought to call you for coverage of the invention of my hot dog bun. <laughs> I got phone, I, Fritz is just out there. The girls at the news tower were wrecking everything in town. I thought about doing all that and then I decided I'd just say, I'll get you my pretty and your little dog too, done. And I have fought some of the legendary battles over the years. If you can't laugh at yourself and you can't live your life so that people can make fun of you, you haven't lived. It takes an intelligent, creative, and strong woman to move a newspaper into the future. And hopefully the register star will find one soon. <laughs>